unicorns and glitter and taxidermy critters are just some of the things they like. They also enjoy 80s hair bands, Grizzly Adams and John Goodman, so if you think that's weird then you can take a hike. But the things they enjoy the most are making art and cracking jokes. So without further ado, here are your hosts. You've got your two artsy gals, your two artsy gals. Here are your two artsy gals. Hey listeners, Katie here. Uh, Just getting our episode up for this week. Uh, There are a few things I wanted to say about it. And pardon my voice because I seem to have caught a cold. Um, So I sound a little weird. Uh, We started this episode as kind of a review. um, Not even really review. We were just going to go over uh, our cutting machines. Because Lonnie and I both have one. I have the portrait, silhouette portrait. She has a silhouette cameo. Um, our friend Ellis Aid had asked us a question about the silhouette portrait specifically, um, and we decided to do a show on it, and then it turned into a Katie and Lonnie doing stuff episode, because we hadn't done one in a while, and I feel like we're gonna have to revisit this topic at some time in the future, because, um... I just don't think that we answered a lot of questions. I hope we did. I know we didn't really answer Elisade's question, and Elisade, personal message to you. Sorry about it. I didn't actually get your email um, where you clarified your question until after we had recorded, but we posted a video uh, tutorial, especially for you, in the blog. So it will be helpful to everyone, but I, I just found an answer to Elisade's question and posted it because I actually didn't have an answer Because I hadn't done what she was asking about yet with my machine. And now I'm going to because it looks really awesome. I hope you enjoy this episode. Again, it was turned into more of a do and stuff episode. But we did talk about the machines and the differences in them. Uh, You're going to want to actually go to the blog for this episode um, and, and check it out because... We, there, there are a lot of other machines on the market that we don't know anything about, so we did a little bit of research and found some links uh, that compare all the machines if you're interested in buying one and you want to know uh, what you what each one does or what the differences are and the price points on them, uh, go check that out. We also put some cool tutorials up that we use regularly to make sure that we have our machines set the way we need them. Uh, you can read that at our website, twoartsygals.com. You can also do some other cool stuff there, like support the show. Um, you can do that in a few ways. You can uh, donate money to the show. It would be awesome if we had some monthly donors. Uh, you can do $5 a month. You can do a dollar a month. You can do $10 a month, whatever. It doesn't matter. It all helps us in the end uh, because it costs money to keep the podcast going and we want to keep bringing you awesome episodes. You can click the donate button on tourcgals.com and donate it to us through PayPal. And if you would rather go to amazon.com and get us something cool from our wish list so that we can uh, talk about it, use it and learn about it and then talk about it on the show, you can reach that wish list through the website also. There's a handy button for that. We do sell merch, and I don't talk about it often, and I don't remember to, but I want you to know we are closing the Cafe Press store, just because I haven't been really thrilled with the way it's been going with them, and I am opening a new store on Redbubble, and we are going to have new merch in the next few weeks. Uh, We're going to do make some cool shit yo gear, um, and I think it's going to be pretty cool. So I will keep you guys updated. And of course, when we have that store open, you will be able to access access that through 2 as well. Um, if you do not have the means to support us monetarily, there are other things you can do. Like tell people about our podcast. Tell your friends, tell your family. Say, what? You don't listen to podcasts? Are you living under a rock, man? And introduce people to podcasts and download it on their phone and show them how easy it is and get them listening to us. excuse me you can also uh, please leave us some reviews and ratings on itunes because that bumps us up and 
most people, well, a lot of people listen through iTunes. So we, if we're higher up in the ratings, then that means we come up faster in search results. So you can go give us a bunch of stars and stuff. It also helps if you rate us on Stitcher or Google Play or wherever else you listen to your podcasts. Um, what else, man? Oh, we love hearing from you guys. And we want you to call us or email us with any questions or comments about the show. Uh, send us cool pictures of the projects that you're working on because we want to see the cool shit you make. Um, you can call us at 503-395-7190 and leave a message and we will play your call on the show. We haven't had a call in a long time. Or email us at 2rcgals at gmail.com and there is a new exciting way that you can communicate with us and we already have a few people um, in the group but because Facebook fan pages are kind of fickle and difficult when we want to share information with you because Facebook likes to limit how many people actually see see what we post unless we pay more money and we don't have money to pay so um, we've made a group and we would like our listeners to join it and it is intended for our listeners to interact with us and interact with other listeners and we can share and talk about things and it is a fun group so far there aren't very many people in it yet we just announced it over the weekend so if you would like to join that group I will put a link to it on the blog uh, but also it is two artsy gals making cool shit so you can just search for it on Facebook and find it and if you do follow us on our Facebook fan page there is a link to it there so go there. And speaking of social medias, we are on all the social medias. We are on Facebook. We are on the Twitter. We're on Instagram and we have a Pinterest. So I'll just say we're on all the relevant to us social medias. Go follow us there and go listen to this episode now because I've been talking for too long. Enjoy the show. Hey everybody, this is Katie. This is Lonnie. And you're listening to Two Arts of Gals. Yay! yay! Ooh, that was a good yay. That was. That was on point. Don't let me forget this $20. Okay, I'm going to set it over here so I don't accidentally glue it to something. But this oh, is my... Oh, is that your dinner money? My dinner money. Yeah, don't forget your dinner money. Because of course we're going out to fucking eat after oh, we record. Because yeah. we always oh, do. Oh my God, I love that bibble bop. <laughs> Is that mm. how you say it? Bibble-bop. I'm getting my thing so. that I always get this time with noodles instead of rice because I forget that I can do that. <clears throat> you can get it with noodles? Yes. Ooh, noodles. Noodles. Yee. So not only today is it a Katie and Lonnie doing stuff episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just leave the space right here for our be awesome so song. Katie and Lonnie are doing stuff. Katie and Lonnie, they do lots of stuff. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> we got to use the song. Yeah. Um, but uh, we're going to talk about our cutting machines. So I'm going to talk a little bit about some machine stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, to be frank, Lonnie, you have used yours more than I use mine, especially recently. I've been kind of um, so I'm going to defer to you on a lot of things, but uh, I wanted to. So I have I have the silhouette portrait. Uh huh. Lonnie has the step up, the cameo or the something. silhouette cameo. Yeah. Um. But people have also asked us about the cricket, and I don't know anything oh, about I the cricket either, because I've never a used one. Similar thing, right? Yes. So. Okay. I went on, well, first of all, I'll explain, I'll talk about what you have. I don't actually have stats on crickets, but I've read several uh, reviews and um, several articles where people use them and compare them. So that's the, that's the only comparison I can give you as someone else's opinion. Yeah. um, That I'm going to do that. Uh, So my silhouette portrait is a silhouette, the silhouette portrait. I'm reading this directly from Silhouette America's website. (laughs) I copied it right the fuck off there. Uh, silhouette uh, portrait. The silhouette portrait is an electronic cutting machine for personal use. Like a home printer, it plugs into your PC or Mac with simple USB cable. However, instead of printing, it uses a small blade to cut paper, cardstock, vinyl, fabric, and other material. Now, mine does up to eight inches wide. And wait, up to eight inches wide and ten feet long? Can I just like? Yeah, you can make a banner. I will, son of a bitch. 
I don't even know that. But I don't um, know how you. It would just have to feed through. Like you would have yeah, to have you a wouldn't long, be able to use long, a mat, long thing. The mats aren't ten. Yeah, no, long. fuck no. Um, and the machine also has the ability to register and cut printed materials, as in pig scan capability or compatibility. I don't know about that because I've never done it. Have you done the pig scan thing yet? No. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Okay. But um, the silhouette portrait. Uh, so it contains when you get it. It contains a silhouette portrait electronic cutting machine, the Silhouette Studio software, 50 exclusive cuttable designs, a power cable, an 8-inch cutting mat. See, now my cutting mat is only 8 inches by um, 12, or I think so. No, it's 8 by 12. You're right. Um, anyway, uh, cutting blade. Uh, free month subscription to the Silhouette Design Store and basic instruction manual. Lonnie's has the Silhouette Cameo. The Silhouette Cameo is the ultimate DIY machine. It uses a machine blade to cut over 100 materials, including paper, cardstock, vinyl, fabric, uh, up to 12 inches wide. So her cutting mat is 12 by 12, where mine is 8 by 12. Yeah, so like a sheet of a, uh, yeah, like. like So the big yeah, paper. Like big I have paper. to cut paper down to use it. Um uh, let's see. The Cameo has the ability to register and cut printed materials like PicScan. Um, yeah, what, is what does it mean for you? As our machine has the largest cutting space and most versatile and ma in materials it can cut. Uh, the Silhouette Cameo 3 has all of the same capabilities as previous versions with some added Bluetooth technology. Wait, what? Is yours wireless? I don't think so. I was going to say, because that would be awesome. Anyway, and hers comes with all the same things, but with a 12-inch mat, cutting mat, a um, hundred exclusive designs that you can download, um, and a one-month subscription to the design store. Now, it seems like, you know, I was thinking about when we were going to do this episode, I'm like, it seems like the possibilities are kind of endless. Like, I was like, what does this thing do? And I mean, it's like a lot of things. It does. It does a lot of things. So I I read a couple of things. Like I was saying, I read a couple of things where we talked. They talked about um, comparing the cricket and the they compared the portrait or maybe the cameo. I don't know. Mine is just a lesser version of it's. It doesn't have as many bells and whistles as the one Lonnie has. But it basically does the same thing. Yeah, and it I just... got a bundle that came with some vinyl mm -hmm. and some of the sketch pens. It has these sketch pens. See, mine doesn't. So you do can that. draw your designs. I guess you can hack them. There's a hack that you can just make a thing that you can put any pen in there, hmm. and it'll draw whatever you. But want mine it doesn't to. do that. Oh, yours does that. Um, oh, so blue on the table. <laughs> this is the gist of what I am. I've come to understand from reading all these articles is that overall people seem to think that the cricket cuts better. It has a, uh, it cuts cleaner lines. Sorry. No, I'm just giving this Thank to you. you. So. <laughs> it cuts cleaner lines. It, um, it cuts faster. It cuts more reliably. However, and it also can cut more things. The cricket can cut balsa wood. Whoa. Um, you know I have a boner for balsa wood, right? Yeah. Wow. Um, but the software for the Silhouette products is better software. Um, oh. It is especially if you are someone who wants to do your own designs. Yes. And that is fun. So people, I've definitely heard... Otherwise, I'm actually almost a little bit yeah, interested so the cricket... in a cricket because of the bullshit that I went through today. Uh-oh. But yeah. you go ahead and say what you were going to say. Oh, so the cricket, you just can get designs that they've already made? Like, you can't make your own? You can, but I guess it's not. It's it's harder than... Um, it's a little bit harder to figure out. And also, I've heard that cricket's designs that they do have in their store are a little cutesy. Oh, yeah. See, that's what I'm kind of imagining. Oh, I'm going to have to wipe this with... Um, I'm pencil. actually not worried about it, Lonnie. Okay. Just getting glue everywhere. Just like getting some glue kind on of things. fucking maniac. So we're, we actually cut stuff out ahead of time with our machines. 
And we're making Valentine's. Yes. I... And she's making something awesome over there, and I don't <laughs> know what it is, but I need to know. I bought this robot 3D gift box thingy um, design. Um, the, and It's fucking cute already. It's pretty cute. And, but, it, wait. I have these supposed instructions here that are difficult. Um... Another thing with this one, some of them aren't like this, but this was a design made by someone that's sold by the silhouette people. I was assuming that it would be grouped into, because it's all these little pieces that it cuts out, right? And they're going to be different card stocks or whatever you're using. So I thought that the pieces would be grouped by color, but they weren't. Oh, so grouped so that you would, they would be on the mat and you could do all one color is that what you're saying? Yeah. So you could be like, these pieces need to be black. These pieces need gotcha. to be whatever. But they weren't. And so I had to kind of create that, which um, it was a little bit of a pain. It took me a while. But I figured it out. Um, sort of. <laughs> now I'm like trying to read these instructions that are just like kind of vague. Like, because um, they don't. It says, add glue to the side tab of the bottom box section and adhere it to the side of the other box section. Okay. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to try this shit and hopefully it'll work, but it's not as, as uh, laid out for a dummy like me as I was hoping it would be, you know, because I sometimes need more hand-holding on these new things that I'm trying well, now, here's the thing that I want to know. But the cool thing is, is it does perforate the things you need to fold, so it makes them fold very oh. nicely. That's cool. So it's cool. I so made like a little video. So, like, it with a needle? Yeah. I made a little video of it cutting, and it's like, do, 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 do. It does little, you know. So, that's kind of cool. Well... But these two need to connect together somehow. I'm just going to say that I'm still having trouble with my design. I am going to show you. I'm just going to come right out and say that I think this is a piece of shit. What? <laughs> it's cool when you can get it to do what you want it to do. But mine does not cut on the settings that it says that it needs. It does not go deep enough. And So you, twist, you switched your blade depth? I had to change my blade depth a bunch of times. I wasted a shitload of paper because I was trying to get it. And it still does not appear to have gone deep enough for the whole thing. Um, I had that problem, especially with the glitter cardstock. It was like it started out good and then it was like the blade went sucked back up. I don't know. It didn't cut the whole thing through well see now look at this i'm trying to get the l to pop out this is the best one that i've had i also this is the the thing that i had trouble with um with the the stencils i had some mat drifting issues so when i would load my mat in it would drift it wouldn't it it was just sliding all over the place oh. um and Oops. i called their customer service I was on hold for three fucking days. I shit you not. Oh, God. Like, I waited that on hold. Terrible. Well, they do this thing where they'll call you back. Uh -huh. So I finally did that the second day because the first day I called their East Coast. So I called too late in the day. But I was still on hold with my phone on. Um, I just turned it on speakerphone and listened to their crappy ass hold music <laughs> uh, for over an hour. And they just never fucking came on. Whoa. So the second day I had them call me. I got up early and they never called. And the third day, someone finally answered. And she told me that she's the only person working customer service. Oh, Which man. I find it hard to fucking believe. That Silhouette America has one fucking person working customer service. Maybe they're small. Are they a small company? I don't think so. Okay. Because, because this is why I don't think so. It took me two months to resolve the issue of the mat drifting. Wow. Because I emailed them and they said, can you take a video of what's happening? And I said, yes. And I took a video of what was happening. And they 
emailed me back and said, it's this, you need to do this. And I'm like, I don't even know what you're talking about. It's not that. So it just ended up being this big, I'm so confused. Lonnie looks confused. I'm, <laughs> I'm confused by what Lonnie's doing right now. But, um, yeah, I'm struggling with my box. Long story short, what happened is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What happened is that they, a different person was reading my email every fucking time. So they were like, did you try this? Did you try that? Well, pretty soon they started repeating each other. And I'm like, are you even going back and reading the thread of what I've been through already? So it turns out the problem that was what ended up fixing it, I don't know, is that they said that I wasn't lining it up um, on the correct line when I put it in. But nowhere in the instructions does it say what where you're supposed to line your mat up. Nothing oh. in the video. Like there, like if you look at the inside of my my machine has a very oh, obscure has... markings. Oh, mine has a very clear like no, blue line. Mine does arrows. not. I oh. think that you probably have I think yours is probably better than mine because of that and because of a few other things, but I I think that I will be upgrading. I'm not happy with this. Like, I think it's awesome when I can get it to do what I want it to do. But I also don't think that something that costs that much money should be. I should say mine is around $200. And yours is probably around $300. Yeah. So. This don't make no sense, but I'm doing it anyway. I don't know. But see, look, even this now, this is not still not cut all the way through. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this apart. And it's pissing me off. I know I had to use scissors for some parts. It's making me mad. Mostly because I'm a horrible person and I'm making my friend a very inappropriate valentine. <laughs> because awesome. my, my friend is having brain surgery on Valentine's Day. So I cut out a brain. I found clip art of a brain and, and used it in the software. And I'm making a card with a brain on it that says, I lobe you. <laughs> I think it's cute. But I also found my, my jello mold, my brain jello mold. And I think I'm taking him brain jello to the hospital. Awesome. I will avoid putting the tumor in it. <laughs> that takes it a little far. I think this is wrong. What a bummer. It's pretty paper. Is that the robot box? Yeah, this is going to be the bottom. I know the flower paper doesn't really make sense, but it's kind of all I had. It's pretty. It doesn't have to make sense, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to just use scissors on some of this stuff and hope that the scoring... Do you want some of this red paper, by the way? Sure. Because I only... I don't... I think this is my last piece of the card stock, but I've literally had this since I got married because I, this is what we made our wedding invitations and our wedding announcements out of because I made them all. Let's see. Have you had any troubles with your machine? Like any challenges? Um, just that. Oh, when I was cutting out, I was cutting out sparkly card stock and I had a problem with, well, it caught the edge. Okay, first I thought, oh, maybe I'll do it upside down and I'll put the sparkly side down and cut on the back side. Maybe that'd be easier on the blade. But that wouldn't really stick to the mat very well. So then I was like, Wah! I was dragging my piece of paper. I was like, oh no, I had to stop it. And so then I found the glitter cardstock setting and I set it up and it cut beautifully at first. But then over time... Like the first few letters cut out great. And then the last few I ended up having to cut out and like they were kind of tearing and stuff. I was like, ah, oh, like, I don't know. So, yeah, I've had little things like that. Um, just figuring it out. You know, there's a lot of like, luckily there's support groups and help out there. Well, and I cause... honestly, I have the... I've had the most luck when I found tutorials yes, on how to do things that these people, thankfully, are people that have just gone and, and made a tutorial. kind of figured it out on their own. Yeah. So we can benefit from them. That's how my favorite thing to use this for is to use the, um, I make stencils. 
we used we made the stencils out of contact paper for the episode that we did on etching glass etching yes so uh oh and that's pretty cool L? i have oh, not I tried that yet um i cut out a lot of stickers i made a couple stickers for my car um i know there you made some cool things and i learned how to do a layered vinyl the other day so oh tell me fun. tell me about the layered vinyl what did you do so there's you have to there's tutorials because it's in the in the um design studio thing or whatever you have to set it up but you can you can fill the pieces and then you can tell it to only cut certain colors at a time or whatever so like but it's hard you have to look at the colored image and then separate the pieces and figure out you know okay i want this piece to be blue i want this piece to be yellow i want this piece to be red and then you cut those out, and then you have to layer it together after they're okay. All cut so out. you're like sandwiching the colors on top of each other, kind of when yeah. it's done. Yeah. So it was okay. like, woo! It was a little tricky for me, but tricky. I figured it out, tricky, and then I was excited because I was like, oh, I get it now. But um, yeah, and I'm a sucker, and I'm in the. I don't know. I joined their membership club, which is like ten dollars a month or something. That's not bad though. Yeah, because you get a f cutting mat and the blade in the mail, and then you and then I'm like, oh, I have twenty five dollars in store credit now to buy their designs and fonts and stuff. Oh, that is one thing you should know. You probably when you if you buy one of these, you do have to replace mats on occasion. Yeah, I've noticed that mine. Yeah, it's kind of you can wash it and get it to get it. Yeah, you can get it sticky back, again. But and actually, I think when they're brand new, they're a little bit too sticky. It's hard to get yeah. the stuff off of them. Actually, one of the tutorials I watched recommended, like, um, sticking it to something, you know, like sticking it to your shirt a few times. Yeah, a to towel kind of, works, like a fuzzy towel. Yeah, to de... To get a little lint on there so it's not super, super... See, I feel like they messed up. They, it seems like there should be tabs here. Well... In here, you know, to glue that. There should probably. That's that's what it looks like to me. Fail. Fail. Because this oh, is. Sorry, I knocked your thingy over. <laughs> that's okay. My glue stick. Oh gosh, I might have to tape it or something. I guess. Well, see. There's packing tape behind you. Oh, there is. See, and this is a design that I think someone made and is selling on the Silhouette Store. So it's not one of their like official ones oh people can sell their own designs on the silhouette store yeah i'm not sure how that works but interesting i'm like oh because i did another one i i i uh i got another one that is a card that's really cute and i was gonna bring it and i forgot um i made it for scott because it's like a video game theme and it says level up and then it's got these hearts and a thing Aww. that you pull so that it looks like the hearts get exposed as you pull. I don't know how to. Explain. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, it's really cute. And that one was actually color coded and like much easier. And I think that was maybe an actual silhouette design um, gotcha. and not something someone had made. So when I did this robot box, I actually separated the pieces into the colors I wanted to use, and I saved them as that, so that if I decide to make it again, I can... Then you can just... Yeah. You don't have to fuck ready around to, with it. Yeah. So I was like, shit, I'm saving this stuff, because man, that was a pain in the butt, kind of. I mean, not that bad, but it just took me way longer than I was expecting. I thought that, you know, it was going to be like, put itself together, because I paid 99 cents for it yeah whatever jays <laughs> you're so funny <laughs> oh, this is making me mad they also have little tools i've seen where you can get like they some ladies buy things i've on their videos where you it has like a scraper that lifts your oh, like you can scrape your stuff yes. off and... yes i got one of those with my machine and a little pick thing but it's not as the pick isn't as um it's not as fine detailed as the uh dental pick you know no, and that i will link it's, the dental picks again i highly recommend them yeah they're very sharp but they work great 
Do you remember what Elisade's question was specifically about? She was talking about taking a photo of an image and then being able to cut it out. Is that what she had a question about, though? Because I don't. Yes. We haven't done that yet, Elisade. That must be the pig thing. Maybe. Yeah. What is that? Do you know about that? I well, know. I just I skimmed it. I haven't tried it yet, but I know that you can. So you can scan. Oh, you dirty bitch. Sorry, I ripped <laughs> it where I didn't want to. Um, you can scan an image. Ha <laughs> ha, my hand stuck. Oh, no. <laughs> you can scan an image into your scanner and then make a design out of it. Like, Right. And she was saying you can take a picture of it, of what you want it to cut out, and tell it what to cut out, put it on your mat, and it will cut. It'll only cut that. Where you... Yes. So I'm guessing you're using the trace thing? Yes. Which is cool. There's a trace thing. That's all I've used so far. Because yeah. I've only so you, done my own designs. Yeah. So you can take images, put them on there, and trace them. And so that's fun for, like, making your own stickers and stuff. That's how I did the brain for this card, which we will post pictures of the things that we make. But only if they turn out awesome. And there are some tricks to that. So um, there's a lot of tutorials out there. Seriously, you guys, YouTube tutorials are oh, your best friend. Yeah, they helped me so much this. because I'm just like, okay, I have this thing. I want to play with it. And uh, I've had a, I've really had you've a You've been having a ton it. of fun with it, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I really like it. Um, like, I don't know if you've had more fun with your serger or... I know. Seriously. I got, I scored this Christmas. You did. Jeez, I'm spoiled. But um, the weird thing is, though, I've always been into collage and, like, cutting things out and stuff. I love, I love doing that. Um, And so this makes it feel weird. Like, I'm removed from the cutting process. And that's kind of like, so? but I'm like, well, shit, I wouldn't be able to do this with scissors. So. No, that is, it, it <laughs> definitely, like, I, there's, I couldn't do this. Yeah. Like, I see artists who do, like, paper cut artists, and I'm like, what? I know, and that's what's cool, is you can get really, there was some really pretty, like, I was searching for, a like, a gift box type thing, and there was some really beautiful, like, detailed cutout. You know, you can make it look like a lantern, kind of, Oh yeah, and stuff. I was like, ooh, I'm gonna have to play with those later. I'm not gonna lie, this might be a little bit too detailed for this your brain yeah or i might have to try it again and make it deeper but uh, see, it's already see and another thing that you have to be careful of with these is to not make it too deep because you'll cut your mat you yes, can cut through I, the mat below I, it did some weird thing to me the other day yeah i don't even know what the heck it was like i had everything where i wanted it on the screen on the mat but it shifted or something and so it was cutting it cut the edge of my mat and stuff i was like God, yeah you, what are your you doing? mat slipped yeah it's fucking annoying i was like wait but i noticed on yours on the cameo you can make you can tighten the grip of your bar oh see, I, can't, I haven't you can't do that with mine i haven't tried that yet no and on their website they don't have a whole lot of support for the portrait which was another frustration. They really, all of their tutorials and things that were helpful were not about the machine that I have. So they don't really support their less expensive product. Oh, well, isn't that fancy? And it was pretty fucking rude. I'm just going to say. Make me mad. I had to find these little tiny brads because I, yesterday hey, I had to go to the brads. craft store. Yeah, the one oh, in no, the... you had to go to the craft I store. I did. I was money. like, oh. No, I um, hate going there. I know. It's so hard. This is so weird. What the heck? Bonnie's having technical difficulties. There's supposed to be another hole for my arm. <laughs> Where is it? <clears throat> okay, sorry. It's in the wrong place. I did this wrong. Shit. Well, you can just put together the top part and then put the bottom part together when you get home. You can cut a new one. <laughs> She's mad. I don't want to. Okay. Pardon me while I whine. Um, yeah, in the tutorial for this, she had these super cute little brads that look like screws, but I don't have those. I have screw brads. What? 
They're not that tiny, though. Let me look, though. Hold on. Oh, son of a bitch, I'm 800 years old. Yeah, I had to ask the lady at the craft store, because I've never bought these before, and she's like, look, we have a whole rack of them. They had all kinds of cute little brads. Are these too big? I must have did my box wrong, but... Oh, those are perfect. You but are you serious? Dude, I've got a whole thing of bread. You have to pick them out. Okay. Oh my gosh. Ow. Why do I always walk in the doors? It's super dumb. <laughs> <laughs> or like when I'm walking and I, I swing my arms a lot when I walk, I always ram my forearms into doorknobs. Do you ever do that? Um, yeah. Oh, good. Because I always feel, because when Kurt hears me do it at night, he goes, doorknob. I my hips grew so fast that I was always ramming my hips into things. Oh yeah. <laughs> my grandparents had a isle an island in their kitchen. My grandpa built for my grandma. And one side was lower than the other. I don't know exactly why. I think it was for like for her to knead doughs and stuff. Um but well, I got that one out for you. Thank you. It was for, like, I think it was lower for her to, like, knead dough or, you know, I don't know. Anyway, that end of it was right at the height when my little hips started growing. I fucking nailed my hip bone on that thing so much. I'm pretty sure I just had a permanent bruise there for, like, all four years of high school. Oh. Because my grandparents lived next door. So we were over there all the time. So I would go over there and I would ram my fucking hip right into it. I mean, you would think that I would go the other way, but, <laughs> you know, why do that when it's so easy? Oh, you dirty whore. <laughs> yeah, this is complicated. I'm The instructions I got, this is not, it, it's not, they're not very clear. Warnie's upset, I can tell. I, I can't even speak. I'm stuttering. Why do I gotta be so rude? Boo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. Whatever that song is. These are cute. Where did you get them? Because I couldn't find I them. I don't even remember. I might have ordered them from Amazon. I got them so long ago. Or I probably got them at Joanne's. I don't know. Who knows? Actually, I think that's where the lady on the thing said she got hers. They're little, they're little brads that have like screw marks across the top of them. Yeah, they look like screws. Perfect for a robot. Beep boop, beep boop. I like these little sparkly ones, though. Yeah, I'll give you some of those. Oh, I like these. Oh, shit. Ow, that hit my bunion. <laughs> it did? That was weird. It bounced right off my bunion. Oh. It's right... Oh, wait. Where'd it go? I think it was there. Okay, good. Gosh. Yesterday, I was talking on the phone and trying to clean... Lonnie didn't even mention that I cleaned my studio. It looks great in here. <laughs> Sorry. Because it was a fucking shit show for a few weeks. Was it? Like, it was, well, dude, you were here last week. It was bad. It was, like, when I have to start piling things up on surfaces and, like, I don't know. Uh, but I dropped a thumbtack on the floor. And I was barefoot. And I'm like, I need to sit down the phone. Just give me a minute. Because I knew if I took a step, I was going to fucking in undoubtedly just fucking step on it. Yes. And it was one of those flat ones, too. Have you ever stepped on a thumbtack so hard that it, like, went into your heel and you had to, like, pry it out? No. I, I did that once. It was horrible. Stepped on a needle or a pin that's done that. Owie. But not a... I'm surprised I don't actually do that more often in here because I'm kind of like the Swedish chef when I'm sewing or doing anything with straight pins or anything like that. Although my dog walked by the other day and he had something shiny. I noticed on his, in his arm fur, he'd been sleeping under my sewing table and he had a straight pin stuck in his dog fur. Oh man. Like it didn't poke him, but it could have. <laughs> I was like, Hey, you, you should probably let me get that out of you. Come here. <laughs> Needles and pins. Uh, uh Oh, we're concentrating too. I know we again. are. We got to stop. This is, see, look, it, it will be really cool if I can get them all out though. Oh my though. God, that's awesome. But I think it's a little intricate, but. Maybe you should try deeper cuts. That was my last piece of card stock of this. Oh, no, wait, I have, wait. Nope, this is one that I fucked up. So that was like a 10. The depth of 10. I don't know. I think it's. Oh, an, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, it, it, it was deep enough that it should have fucking cut. Yeah. And I put a new blade in it. 
Because when my in-laws gave this to me, they ordered a second mat and a new blade for me. Yeah. So I thought, well, maybe I need a fresh blade, but I haven't used it that much, but it doesn't, it's no. I just think that it's weird. It's not a great quality machine. I'm just going to say that. I'm sorry. So we let America, but it kind of blows sometimes. It's very fussy, yes. but it kind of makes me want to come to your house and see yours work. Yeah. I made a little video. Yeah. I want to see how yours is different than mine. And I also am considering maybe saving up and trying. We'll see. I would. I don't know about the cricket though, because I do like designing my own stuff. So, and I really that is the consistent feedback I've heard on on the crickets is that it is not as uh, the software is not as designer friendly. Huh. So I hope my friend doesn't think I'm a jerk for making him a brain valve. No, but he's I think kind it's of hilarious. a jerk too. So he's got a sense of humor, right? Yes, a very dark, disgusting okay, one. Okay, so. perfect. Okay, <laughs> I think I'm making progress. I know I did something. Did you wrong. cut that out of a uh, calendar? <laughs> yeah, it that's was really old... pretty. I have I save all my old calendars. <laughs> yeah, it was an old calendar page. I was like, I'll just use that for the bottom because I don't have a big enough piece of paper pro tip guys save your calendars like yeah. use that art and yeah and you can use it in your silhouette machine and yeah. it cut it just as well as it cuts cardstock so that was pretty exciting which on Lonnie's machine is way better than mine <laughs> that's so weird that you have a new blade and you had it set at 10 yeah i had it set at 10 and i set it to like the cut speed of like one Oh my gosh. Dude, it took so long. Yeah. I had, I took a shower and did my makeup by the time it was, I, it just finished after I did wow. my makeup. I was like, what? But I kept coming back to check on it because I started getting into trouble with the, uh, with the mat shifting again, which is annoying as fuck. Cause then here, let me try to find one, the one where the mat shifted. I was going to show it to you what happens. Legs next. Where did it go? So what does Scott think of all of your cutting and your machine stuff and all that? He's like, ooh, fancy. He saw me cutting out the glittery cardstock and he's like, fancy. And I was like, yeah. And then now he wants a ween sticker for his car. So Aww. I'm going to make him a ween sticker. <laughs> I think that's super funny. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think he thinks it's cool. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I know that I was so excited about it that I think he thought that was funny because I was just like, look at this. This is amazing. That's funny. See, Kurt gets excited when he sees me use stuff that he got me for Christmas. It's because, man, you know, I had a, I dated a guy that worked at Fantasy Adult Video and he, oh. um, they had a vinyl cutter at their work. Um, to Not make where signs. I thought that was going. <laughs> All right. To make signs and stuff. <laughs> and I was always jealous. I was like, I want one of those. But back then, they didn't have the consumer. No, and they were probably really fucking expensive. Yeah. Oh my gosh, duh. That's funny. I, I have a friend who was supposed to mirror a... one of these feet so that the feet could go the right direction, but I didn't mirror it. Oh. So my robot's going to have a... He's going to have two left feet. <laughs> Just this means he so won't be sad. good at dancing, Lonnie. That's all. Oh, damn it. I have a friend who works See, for Fantasy Adult another video. thing. In the design, the person that made this could have made mirrored feet. Yes, they could have. So that you don't have this problem. You shouldn't you, have to you sound do like, that. You, can I tell you what you sound like right now? Oh, gosh. What? You sound like me <laughs> when I find a crochet pattern. And the person who wrote it's a dumb shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no offense, because it's a really cute idea, but geez. Like, it's got a lot of... Ugh. Anyway, if there's Kurt a place can I can write a review on this, I will... You're going to write a review about their crappy pattern making? Maybe, or just warn people, like, hey, you're going to have to do a lot of your own work on this if you want it to turn out right. Damn it. 
Lonnie is having a little tantrum. <laughs> and I find it very amusing because Lonnie doesn't actually get bitchy very often. Do I not? Oh. No, you never do. I always feel like I'm that's the one that's funny. all like, roar. <laughs> well, let me tell you. No. Oh, there we go. There goes my voice. <clears throat> Come back. It's like, no, you can't be bitchy. Now, see, now this leg is going to be backwards. What the F? Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> never mind. What? The feet are fine. It's just me not thinking about the fact that I can just turn it over and it's not gonna it's fine. Whatever. <clears throat> so my fair crazy pants. My um the design is perfect. It's wonderful. Thank you to the person who made it. There oh, I broke it. Brain. You broke your brain. I broke my brain, but <laughs> I think that I can it'll be fine. I think that once it, if it all comes out and gets glued down, then it won't look like I broke it. I think I'm going to need to like get better paper and then, or get more paper and try to do a deeper cut. Cause this is just too intricate. Like this is going to take me for fucking ever. It's stupid. Stupid. It's stupid, Lonnie. I'm not doing this anymore. <gasps> what? <laughs> she gave up. <laughs> no, Sorry. I'll I keep working shocked. on it. No, it's okay. You don't have to. I'll keep trying, but I'm just having a tantrum right now. <laughs> Art's not always easy, you guys. No, and I see now the thing that I did do, um, another thing that I love doing with this is, again, it's a stencil thing, but it's not just the... So we did the contact paper stencils for glass etching, uh -huh. but I also made Those my cool. friend Martha a t-shirt it turned out awesome. And I made the stencil for that. And this is part of the reason that I'm so excited to have this thing. Yeah. Because I can make cool t-shirts with cool glittery skulls and what have you. I made Martha a shirt that said Super Martha. Because she's Super Martha. Aww. Because whenever I have a problem with, like, work stuff, I go, Martha, help me. And she always goes, oh, yeah, this is what you do. Super Martha. So she's always coming to my rescue. That's great. Oh, maybe I didn't tear it. Maybe it was supposed to be like that. I'm just going to go with it and say it was supposed to be like that. It's a design element. It's a design element. Yo. That's <laughs> what it is. That's what someone told me in the Patterns for Pirates group. And I was like, you're right. We have to do an episode about sewing with mitts. Yeah. Because that is the other thing that we've been totally on lately i know it's been yeah so i feel like this episode i had some fails the other day you did kind of sad yeah what kind of fails like a, and i was trying to like cheer myself up like a i'm gonna sell myself something. loss fail or like a if i lose fixable weight fail. i could wear it but oh i hate those kind of fails yeah not enough stretch not enough i was trying to make some capri pegs with a skirt attached and the material for the pegs didn't have enough stretch so it wouldn't go up over my butt oh sad times yeah i was like oh i hate that yeah it was i was like well that didn't work I have that I'm problem with things, up things I... going over my boobs. Oh, yeah. Nothing likes to go over my boobs. We've been doing this for like almost 45 minutes. Oh, my God. And I feel like it's probably getting to be a little bit of a boring episode. So I think Lonnie and I are going to keep doing stuff. Uh, but we're going to stop recording. And we will post pictures of our finished stuff. Yeah. When it's done. So you guys don't have to listen to us grunt and breathe like cavemen <laughs> while we're concentrating on doing these things. I know. I just made my robot head. But, oh, don't know why we got the uh, Mr. Mr. Robot. -to. That's the only stick song that doesn't make me want to shoot at people. <laughs> I loved it when I was a kid. I always had that. I love that bone. song, but boom I box. fucking seriously hate sticks. I almost said like, bone box. Ooh. Boom, boom, bone box. <laughs> my bone box was bumping. My bone box brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. Oh, that was awesome. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. So um, I think next week I might be Miss, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't say it because I don't know for sure yet. But I we are going to do an episode with Karina. Karina and she's going to come talk to us. About quilting. Oh, cool. Because she is a fucking badass quiltress. Wow. Quiltress, do you like that? I made that up. 
quiltress. I like it a lot. Um, so yeah, we will post pictures of the things that we made using our cutters. Mm -hmm. I'll post some links about some stuff. Uh, but I hope this was helpful. I think they're cool to have. I think that... Oh, yeah. That, and there's so much potential there. What I really think is that it's worth the extra $100 to, to get the bigger to one. To get the bigger uh, cutter if you want to get a silhouette. <laughs> I'm totally mesmerized by Lonnie putting mm -hmm. robot teeth in her robot right now. <laughs> so uh, next week, hopefully, we'll be back to talk oh about gosh. quilts. If not next week, the week after. And there'll be something else next week. Uh, yeah. But until then, go make some cool shit, yo! Do it now. Good morning, Katie. This is your friend. I'm recording on the new test cam. I'm trying to figure out what the buttons do. But every once in a while, I take a break to poo.